and welcome to Spartan EdTech Tips. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a QR code. Now, the first way, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways and a couple of different things that you can create QR codes for. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to share a web page. So if you want your students to go to a specific web page or you want somebody, you want to share a web page with somebody and you want to do it through a QR code, all you need to do, if you see here, I'm on the CCSD website, and there's a little icon up here in the top that's a little share icon. All you need to do is click that icon, and you're going to hit create QR code, and there's your QR code. Now, you can copy and paste it, or you can download it, and then it will be in your files. The next way I'm going to show you is um, if you have a, uh, a document that you want to share. Now, this works with all Google Documents uh, slides, and I, I do this a lot with my students. And it's basically the same thing as if you were sharing, sharing a Google page. Sorry for that. And it's you go again, you go up to the um, this little uh, icon up here and hit share and just go down to create QR code. And there's the QR code. Now, when you um, make a QR code for a document, you need to make sure that you sh change the sharing uh, features on it because you want to make sure that everybody can access it. So if you only want Clark County people to access it or anyone with a link to access it, and then you only want them to view it. If you want them only to view it, make sure you're, you're clicking view. If you, they're going to be able to edit or commentate on it, then change it that way. But make sure that when you share a document that you've changed the sharing positions. The next place I'm going to show you to create a gen or generate a QR code. Um, if you look at, if you've typed in QR code generator, generator into uh, your uh your finder here in Google, you'll see there's tons of them. Some of them are free, some of them are not free, um, but the one I like best is Canva. Canva is free to all teachers. You can get an education account. All you have to do is sign in with your Google account. So I would click this one and it's gonna take me to this page um, and I can create a design. You see, I'm already logged in because it remembers me. But uh, you, when you log in, just make sure you log in with Google. Um, and you might have to fill a couple things out and it'll ask you like what school district and stuff you're from. And that then it's really easy. I would save this page because sometimes it's kind of hard to find again. So I save this page that way I know I can come back to it. And all you need to do is go to the generator. So you would go to the QR code generator and uh, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, use it in an existing design or use it in a new design. So you want to do a new design, and I just do a document. And so the document will come up, and you can change all of this anytime you want. You can change any of this uh, writing here. So I've got a, an app or a student information sheet that I want to send out to my students so I can collect their basic information. Um, so I'm going to hit send and it's going to make, I'll go right here to the center where I can get the link and I'm going to click the link and I'm going to shorten the link and then I'm going to copy it. And then I go back to my design and you'll see here it asks for the link. So I'm going to hit uh, my add my link there and now it has generated the QR code there's the preview and you just hit generate and there's your QR code and then you can edit any way you want it and then if uh, you want to edit it into another document all you would do is hit share and let me move my little screen a little bit and you can open it with Cami 
or you can hit an assignment. You can go to an assignment. You can also download it. So you can hit download. And when you hit download, it will automatically download to your files. Okay. And you can say what kind of, uh, what you want. It's usually going to come up in a PDF and then, um, and you can save your download settings and then you just hit download and it's now downloaded here to your, uh, to your files. Okay. Now, again, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to contact me at any time. I have sixth and seventh period prep to help people with their, um, any kind of ed tech uh, problems or questions that they, you may have, email me and I will get back to you very, very soon. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.